everyone. So it's December 26th, and every December 26th, it's like a tradition. I just kind of relax all day. Um, I actually took a shower and got ready because I just felt like, I don't know, like glomming up a little bit. And also, I wanted to film a video for you since every single year, I try and film my What I Got for Christmas video. And this year, I wasn't going to do one because some people get really offended by them and some people really do not like them. But for some reason this year I had an overwhelming response to do a video like this. So I asked on Facebook and on Twitter and almost everyone said yes. In fact, I don't think I got one no. So this is why I'm doing my Christmas haul video. I just want to let you guys know that I am so thankful for everything I got this Christmas. It honestly went above and beyond my expectations and I'm so thankful and I don't want anyone to think I'm bragging because I'm not. If you are the type to get offended by these videos or if you are not if you think that you might get like upset by this video or angry from this video, I suggest you turn off the screen because that is what you're going to see. You're going to see me showing you what I got for Christmas for my, f my parents and my family. Um, and with that said, I'm going to get started because I don't want this video to be too long. But Bentley was sitting here and he just wants to say hi. It was baby's first Christmas and um, he hasn't been in a video in so long since he's such a big tough Pomeranian now. He's just like the big dogs. You're just like the big dogs. Yes. Yes. Um... So yeah, he was just going to hang around with us, I guess. So I'll start off with my stocking because I always start, off my, or always start off with my stocking. This is my stocking. It's normally not my stocking. Normally I have like a really cute one, but um, I guess my mom lost it, so she just gave me this random green one that reminds me of like Irish people, which is fine. I'm like an eighth Irish, so it's cool. So the first thing I got in my stocking were these iPhone earphones. I don't know. Stealth sound earphones which is always nice to have because I am constantly using my losing my earphones so to have an extra pair is like really nice especially like in my room or at school or whatever um so they just look like these little these little earphone things um I have never heard of this brand before so I do not know how it is but just these earphones I also got the Zoya 3-in-1 nail polish remover because my sister and I are always looking for nail polish remover since we are both nail polish junkies. And what's really cool about this one is that the top is like a professional one where you press it down and then like stuff pops out of it. So I'm really excited to have that. Another thing, an iTunes gift card for $25 because I am constantly wanting to buy music, um, rent movies, whatever. The next thing my mom found was really cool, and I say my mom because my parents are still together, they've been together for 20 years, but my dad does not go shopping, so that is why I say my mom, but my parents got me these things. It's this lavender candle, and what's funny about this is that it, when you melt it, it turns into a lotion and a massage oil, so I don't know where she got this, but um, it doesn't really smell like anything. Next thing, oh, Atomic Fireballs, which... I remember being young and my mom would always like get these for us and I could never finish it. So the Atomic Firebomb, I also got those a pack of fizzy candies but I ate those because those were my favorite candies. She got this original quick cloth, I don't know, I think it's just a cloth that you like pop out and then eventually it turns into a cloth. So I travel frequently so this is going to be really nice and it's just like a cloth like that. A nail file which is always nice to have since I'm always using nail files and then what is this? Oh. This Orly nail polish gift set it came with three nail polishes, like black, a uh, pearly white, and then a really nice wintry bronzy color. And it came, comes with a free black bag, apparently. And that is that for the stocking. So let me move that over. And then the rest of my gifts, I got one big gift, and then my mom was very nice. Well, my parents were really nice and got me a bunch of little things. So first thing I opened, I think, was this mirror. And I redid my room in the summertime. And really, I haven't done much with it. Um, I just haven't had the time. I was in Italy and then everything. But I'm slowly kind of making it more my own. So this is a mirror my mom got me. Oh my gosh, you can see my total mess of a room. Oh, and you can see my very fancy tripod station, like this wooden bench. Um, but she just got me this mirror, and she got one for my sister too. It just has these, like, jewels all around it. Um, I really like it. So I'm not sure where I'm going to put it because where I would put it, my nail polish rack is there. So I'm not really sure where I'm going to put this um, mirror. Then I got a neck wrap because apparently um, my mother thought I needed a neck wrap and it's cheetah print which is really cool. Apparently, oh I also got these pajamas for Christmas. Um, apparently my mom thought I was really into cheetah or something because everything she got me was in cheetah which I don't mind. I really like cheetah but um, I guess it just has these beads inside and then you can heat it up in the microwave and you can put it around your neck. 
or if you hurt your neck or something or if you hurt it playing a sport or whatever like hockey or something um if you play hockey so a thermal neck wrap which is always useful i was so excited about that i have no idea why the next thing uh she got me were a pair of Spanx from winners if you guys don't know what Spanx are it's kind of like a control patchy thing uh, I have never had a pair of Spanx before, and I guess because I wear dresses sometimes, and I always, like, I'm like, Mom, I need to go get, um, Spanx, but I never do. She thought it would be a good time to get it for me. Then she got me this Olay gift set. It is this Oil of Olay set with a body wash, a foaming face wash, and makeup removing cleansing gloss. So that was fun because I'm always running out of makeup remover wipes. Foaming face wash I've never tried and then this body wash is supposed to be really good so I'm excited to try that. And then one of my things I was most excited for was the Prada candy perfume which she, my parents got for me also. I smelt this in the store and it smelled like, it smelled like really sweet. Kind of like a more grown up version of Aqualina Pink Sugar Bentley. And then I opened it yesterday, it's a really cute bottle, I really like the bottle, it looks like this. And then I opened it yesterday and it smells like baby powder. So I don't know, is that what it's supposed to smell like? Because I didn't think it was supposed to smell like this. And I mean, it's a nice scent, but it just didn't smell as good as I thought it did. Like in the store, like I sprayed it on myself and the staying powder was great. But then I smelled it and I was like, is this what it's supposed to smell like? Because it smells like almost like straight up baby powder. And I don't think that's normal. And one of the things that I was like actually shocked that my mom got me, um, that I didn't ask for it, but I was so excited about this like this is one of the things I was most excited for it's this cast iron skillet for a cookie um apparently it's a pa it's like a pan and you cook a giant cookie in it so um I was so excited about this just not because of like the cookie part just because I, I really like pans I've always liked pans and I really like cooking I'm really into cooking lately and this little cast iron skillet is so great just for like small stuff like pancakes or I don't even know like an egg so I was really excited about the cast iron skillet for a cookie and I'm not sure, should I show you guys what my sister got me or should I show you my big gift? I think I'll show you what my sister got me, then what my family got me, and then, well, my extended family, and then what um, my big gift was, even though many of you already know what it is. So my sister was amazing to me this year. Um, I really need to start preparing for next Christmas because this girl is just so nice to me. Uh, she got me two nail polishes, which I am so excited about because you guys know I'm a nail polish addict. And the first one she got me was by is Sephora by OPI, and it's this color in I Don't Bite. It's like this really nice dark purple. I really, really like it. I think it's really nice for um, winter and New Year's, so I'm going to paint my nails this soon. I haven't painted my nails since Thursday. I don't know why. I just haven't painted my nails in a while, but um, I'm really excited about this nail polish color. And then the next color she got me was, I think it's from American Apparel. It looks like this. It's just a bunch of different... Um, glitter colors and she actually funny enough she wore this on her nails a couple of I hope this is focused and funny enough she wore this on her nails I guess when she went to the store she tried it on and she wore it on her nails and I complimented on her and then she got it for me so I was really happy about that I don't know the color of it since she kind of ripped it off but I I'm guessing this is one of the only colors that looks like this so um, if you want to find it good luck finding it and then from Sephora I was so shocked to see that she got me this because I never talked about it. I mean, we I went to Sephora once with my friend Nikki, and we looked at these, but I didn't think my sister would, like, buy it for me. And it's the Violent Lips Temporary Lip Tattoos. It contains three lip tattoo things. Um, and I'm guessing she got me the pink sparkly one, which she knows me so well. Um, I'm so excited to try these. I completely forgot about these yesterday, but I'm so actually excited to try them. Yeah, look, you just put this on your lip, and it's, like, sparkly pink like that. That's going to be so cool to try. Oh my gosh, look at all these other ones you can get. That's so cool. Oh my god, that is awesome. That's so exciting. I'm so excited. I'm so I'm gonna try one like after this video, I'm not gonna lie. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. And then she didn't stop there, that girl. Then she went to Bath and Body Works and got me this true blue spa kit. It comes with a lotion, a super rich foot cream, which I'm excited about since my feet are very dry, shea butter body wash, and then a peel-off face mask, which I might try tonight too. So she got me that. And, like, it's just little things like this that make me so excited because, I don't know, it's just stuff that I wouldn't buy for myself because I don't, I just don't think I need it. But then when she buys it for me, it's, like, something new to try. It's something that we can try together, like the peel-off mask and everything. So I'm so excited to try this out. First, I guess she thinks I'm a stressed person or, um, or maybe she thinks that I need help going to sleep since I go to sleep kind of late. She got me Aromatherapy from Bath & Body Works. Um, the Sleep Aromatherapy in Lavender Vanilla. 
and it smells delicious. When I take my shower tonight before bed, I will definitely use this. And she also got me the body lotion in the lavender vanilla scent as well. So I will be sure to moisturize my hands and my body with this before I go to bed to make me extra sleepy. As a bonus little treat, she got me this menthol lip shine in magenta mint because I don't have enough lip gloss, but... Um, these are always fun just to keep in your school bag or your pencil case because they're not extra expensive so you don't have to worry about losing them. And then the last thing she got me is my, oh, I was so, so like happy she got this for me and I was so shocked too and I was just really kind of heart warm. Is that a, is that a verb? I don't know. I was just really kind of shocked that she even thought to get this for me but it's my favorite, um, primer by Too Faced and it's called Too Faced Primed and Poreless. You guys know I rave and rave about this and I finished it and I guess she comes in and uses my makeup sometimes and she's noticed that I finished it and I guess she watched some of my videos and knows how much I love it and so she went and got me a whole new one and I don't know it's just like the thought that she checked and she got it she went and bought it and everything and so she got me my favorite primer and she I didn't even tell her that I was out of it she just I guess she figured it out so um as many of you guys know my parents for this Christmas got me my new purse it is a Louis Vuitton never full um, MM, I actually, let me just check. I don't know exactly. It is the Neverfull MM monogram. So, this is it. I am so excited. I've wanted this purse for so long. Ever since I got my Speedy, I was thinking about, you know, what purse can I get next? Um, well, I wasn't thinking right away. But, like, after, like, I don't know. Like, when you really like bags, you kind of, like, know which one you want, like, one after another. And so I've wanted this purse for so long. And then when I was in Italy, all my friends are buying, like, fake um, Neverfulls. And I was, I just don't want to do that. I don't know. I like carrying my purses and knowing it's real. Even if people might think it's fake, I know it's real. And I feel like that's what counts. Plus, I don't want to... Bentley. So even though a bunch of people were buying fake Louis Vuittons and everything, I kind of resisted, even though they are really good fakes, just because I didn't want to do that, and I know not everyone can afford real Louis Vuittons, and real Chanel purses, and real Balenciagas, and whatever, but, I don't know, I just would rather save my money until I can get the real thing than buy a fake one, just because I find it so much more worthwhile, and like, no, I don't know, just, it's just a stupid thing in my mind, but I know some people are like that, and I know some people are going to comment and be like, you're such a spoiled bitch, whatever, but it's not like I just said, mom, dad got me my Neverfull, and they were like, oh, out there the next day. Like, I waited and waited and waited for this purse. So, without further ado, this is it. It is gorgeous. I love it. It's the perfect size for me. This is the medium size. I was thinking about getting the GM. I think that's the big one. But then, um, it was just too big. And then this size is just absolutely perfect for me. And I am so, so in love with it. And so, this is it. Just in all its glory. What I also like about it is, on the side, you can pull the little things in. And you can make it kind of like, um... I don't know, like a square bag, I guess? I don't really know. Like, if you pull the little tassels in, you can make it like a smaller bag, or you can make it like a bigger bag. And I am just so over the moon about this. I love it so much. I'm, ugh, I love it. And I find it so me, and I don't know if I'm going to use it for school or not. Um, I just, like, put some books in on the way to class, and because it's so big, I don't know what else I do in it, with it. Um, but then just from family, I got cards with some money. Um, my grandparents got me a gift card, and also an ornament, Bentley. Uh, an ornament that they do every year, the granddaughter gift card um, ornament from Hallmark. My cousin Tiffany got me a gift card to Sephora, and for the first time in my life, I do not have anything I want to buy from Sephora. So, if you have any purchases that you think I should make, definitely let me know. And aside from that, I just got money from my aunts and uncles and family friends and everything. So, overall, I'm so thankful and I feel so blessed to have received all that I did. I know a lot of people cannot afford to get many things, so I'm very thankful, especially this holiday season. I hope you guys all got what you wanted. I hope your holiday was extra special. Happy Hanukkah if you celebrate it. Happy Kwanzaa. Have a great day if you don't celebrate any of the holidays. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye.